Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Paddle Podcast from Apocalypse Movies. I am Jake Berlin, aka Qui Gon Jake, and this is our all our oh, our all Star Wars show. We're breaking out everything from the galaxy far, far away. Um, I'm your host for this uh, show on our channel, and today I am joined by Mr. Grant Amorosino and Obi Wan Jacoby to talk some Star Wars. There. But before we get to our main get topic, uh, that every time now, I'm my every opening time. line. Where's my... I don't think I've ever <laughs> caught it until now. I've been every doing time. it like the past five or six. <laughs> so I good. So never your your pocket flick shirt has got to say hello. There. Oh yeah, hundred um, percent. Cool. Um, yeah. cool. So before we get to our main topic, um, our one our one topic, uh, we wanted to mention a little bit that we're changing the pattern one for the foreseeable future. We're gonna be uh, adjusting the show a little bit and going a little bit of a different direction. Um, instead of being news heavy, news based, uh, we're gonna be focusing on essentially one main topic for the show and going into more about speculation and theories and possibilities and things we may wanna see. Um, just overall discussions that we have off camera, we're gonna put that on camera. Um, and that's not to say that it can't uh, be focused on something that's happening in the news, but uh, like, let's say, for example, last week the High Republic stuff dropped. Um, we could have easily made a show just on that topic about speculation and theories and what it could show and who we can see and stuff like that instead of just covering the news and t saying what we like and what we don't like about that news. And so uh, for now on, this is how you will see the Padawan. Uh, we're we're going to be trying to run between 45 minutes and an hour, focus on one single topic, um, possible rankings, which is what we're doing today. Um, and we're very excited about it. And so hopefully you guys like that as well. Let us know what you think down below in the comments of what you think of that. But for now, let's get to our topic. And our topic today, as the title expresses, we are going to be talking about animation characters and those characters um, being brought to live action. The ones that we want to see, ranking them from five to one. These guys hate me for deciding to do that. But this was um, so <laughs> difficult. I was cursing um, Jake out. And so we're going to be doing it. We're going to run through the list five through one. Um, which five is our, our not least least favorite, but the one that we don't want to see the most compared to our first one. Um, and so we're just going to go through it quickly, spend about 45 minutes talking about it, have some fun discussions. Uh, Brian, since you are to my left and we're going around the clock, why don't you start us off, sir? What right. is your fifth character that you want to see jump from animation to live action? So I think it should be known that none of us know each other's list either. Nope. No. So, so how do we want to handle if he mentions someone on my list? Just wait. Just wait. Just just wait and then say my my number so so is this as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So my number five. This was because I they, they, there will be similarities yeah. for sure. Uh, at the end, after our list, we should do honorable mentions too. Sure. Uh, a couple. Yeah. yeah. There's I, so many you can choose from. Yeah. I literally when I started, I wrote down I had a list of sixteen. Jake, Holy crap! Jake, Jake is a slave driver and said five only. So here we <laughs> I'm are. I'm glad it's five because if it was ten, it makes it more fun. It's like yeah. the f five are the ones you really want in there. Yeah. Like your eighth one on the top ten is not. You're not going to be dying to have them in there, you know. But yeah. your top five, you are. So I like that. All right. So my number five, I I felt like she had to be in there. She's been around a lot and she gets brought up a lot and it's only a matter of time i almost feel like and i feel like hera mm. deserves some screen time yeah. she she has been in books comics shows the only thing she has not stepped foot in is film and i believe she deserves it i think she should be in in it and you know she is not like somewhat like I mean you could find almost kind of like anyone to play her because she's not a human character mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. not someone mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you need a specific look um, so I think she is someone that has been through a lot of the history that we're slowly starting to see and she deserves to be a character that's been used I mean she's she's in a, a lot so of do stuff. uh do live action TV shows count too, right? That yeah. were live action that, period. Okay. Live action okay. period. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, she, she's she's an obvious choice for almost everybody. Yeah. She's one of the most lovable animation characters to ever come out of anything Star Wars. Um, the 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 growth that the character had from just this kind of rebel cell, as they call themselves, to essentially being one of the leaders of the rebellion at the time. Yeah. Um, and then living through all of that history of the original trilogy and knowing where she ends up at least after that war from End of Rebels, um, there's definitely a lot of possibilities. And her character is so lovable, so likable. 
Um, and they made her so powerful, like this one of these strong female characters she's in a Star very Wars. Strong female and she's character. an incredible pilot, which I always go towards the pilots. Like I love seeing that type of stuff. Um, plus, I want to see more of the ghosts in live action because <laughs> that yeah. ship is awesome. <laughs> that ship is very cool. But yeah, that's my five. She deserves to be in it. I mean, like we said, she's been mentioned enough, and it almost kind of blows my mind that she's been in everything but a live action yeah. at this point. So no, yeah. I love Hera um, so much so that she is my, also my number that five. Boy. Wow! Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I did a little bit of cheating though, and I think this is fair. Uh, on my five spot, I put Hera slash Jason Sedula. Well, they would, yeah. yeah. If okay. she, if he appears, she's appearing. Yeah. Basically, so I kind of bunch them together. Fair enough. I want to see both of them. My only issue with Jason is if, if he is force sensitive, which every time a Jedi has a kid, they end up being force sensitive. Yeah. So I'm assuming he is. Where the hell was he this whole time? That's the same question. Where was he during the, you know, during this, during that? So. I would love to see them both. Like, who knows? She might still be alive after the rise of Skywalker. Very well, could I be. mean, we see the ghost in the movie, and we don't so know how they age. Yeah, who's who's shipping the ghost? It could mm-hmm. be. Maybe it's not her, but it probably maybe it's is. Jason. Are they? God, that makes me so mad. The last time we see them in Rebels, are she flying the ghost? Yeah, yeah. they're together in the ghost, right? Yeah. With Chopper, yeah. it, it might be both of them yeah. with yeah. Chopper. That like yeah. that'd be incredible, and maybe he is a Jedi, and or he's hiding his Force sensi- sensibilities. So. I, I just love the Hera character. She she might be like the most like I don't know how to explain it. The most responsible character in Star Wars, if yeah. that makes sense. The most sense. mature. Yeah. The most mature and the most responsible character in Star Wars. If you wanted someone to like lead the galaxy, she would be at the top of my list Absolutely. because she's gonna be the most fair, the most noble. She's She's not afraid to go into battle. And I guarantee you, if she was in charge of the galaxy, she would still go to war and fight oh, for 100%. what's right. So I just love that character so much. She's one of my favorite characters in all of Star Wars, but definitely on Rebels. I hope to see her sometime. Finally made a good decision. I want a Twi'lek. I mean, I'm, I'm actually pronouncing it. I think it's not even pronounced that way. I think it's pronounced another way. A, twi- a Twi'lek. Twi'lek or twi-lek. something. Twi'lek. If I say Twi'lek, whatever. Twi'lek, yeah. I, I, want, I would like a Twi'lek to be a, a main character in something. I want an actually. alien period to be a main character. Yeah. True. We haven't seen I mean, one. Uh, a, lead, a lead character. Chewbacca. Well, well like, a lead. That's like the, the lead. Like the okay. lead. That's okay. what I want to see. Like the lead character. And Solo, he's... Uh. Uh, no, he's yeah, the second lead, right? He is. He is. Uh, yeah, you're good. <laughs> um, all right, we're moving on to number five. Uh, this is a character going back to the Clone Wars. He has hair? No. Okay. We we have. Um, oh, I didn't even think about Clone Wars. Yeah. I, are you only went to Rebels? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, the the bounty hunter Cad Bane. Ah, uh, um, he was on my list. Yeah, I uh, I'm so fascinated by this character. He pops yeah. in and out. I love his voice. Um, yeah, his voice is incredible. He pops in and out of of the series. I think first debuting in like season three or something of the Clone Wars. Uh, just his his look is incredible. First of all, yeah. very He's Western stuff. Um, I just when I when I imagine him in live action, I imagine an an old small town with tumbleweeds and like some kind of standoff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what I, I would love to see that in Star Wars, yeah. whether it's a TV show or part of a movie, whatever. Um, I think he can be really, really cool. Uh, luckily, the the scene where he actually died is in canon. Uh, this the shootout with Boba Fett, which is which thankfully. Um, have you guys seen that scene? I haven't. I, I have, heard I it's have. kind of ambiguous whether or not he's even dead in yes, the scene. Yes, it is. It, yeah, is. it okay. kind of just shuts, it kind of just turns away. Okay, because it's, so, it's not fully finished. They could have said like he survived that. Well, know? and they and yeah. whether I don't know, it's not considered canon, but if it is, Cad Bane gave Bubba Fett his dent in his helmet. That's from Cad Bane's gun. Oh. Um, and so that's what the scene revealed essentially. Um, and he had his whole armor on and everything in that scene. But yeah, he's I think he's a very cool character. He kind of teeters between the line of good and evil sometimes. He first started out very much as a bad guy. Um, at one point he stole a Jedi holocron in the series mm-hmm. uh, that type of stuff like if you can do that from the Jedi temple you're that good like I want to see you see you in live action um, and he would just look cool and again I'm an alien like I, I would love to see that type of stuff in live he's action a, he's in a lot of stuff he was in a Darth Maul comic uh, yeah Forget which comic run that he was. Made, he makes a lot of appearance he elsewhere. He's in a, a Darth Maul He's comic. a super yeah. cool character. Yeah. Super he was cool in character. Clone Wars a lot. A lot of yeah. people reference him when they talk about you know outside of the movies mm-hmm. what they want to see. And I considered him. I just I'm not as attached to the character. I've only watched Clone Wars through once. Mm-hmm. So maybe after a couple more viewings, I'd get more attached to him. But he has an awesome design and an awesome look and just swagger to him. So 
All right, well, that means let's move on to number four, Mr. Brian. All right, so my number four. These people deserve to finally show up in a movie. <laughs> like Brian's lead up to his, his reveals. Yes, yeah, I like to give a little <laughs> dramatic flair. Um, it blows my mind that they have not come into it's a day. live action. <laughs> I have a feeling I know who it is. Um, it's probably one of mine. Mine right now uh, would be the Grand Inquisitor. Oh, I not, so you you mean inquisitors in general, but but, but the Grand Inquisitor the Grand specifically, Inquisitor, yeah. I I it blows my mind that we haven't seen anything with the Inquisitors yet, uh, just because they have become so well known that now like people almost like forget that they're yeah. just video game well, or like it has to be the right time era, right? Because the, the Inquisitors came in. Um, after Revenge of the Sith, yeah, so like three, it has four. to be in that time frame, you know. Uh, but I, I love the Grand Inquisitor. He is just evil. He, I mean, like he gives me. Uh, is he the Utapau type? No, sta- no? no. he looks kind of like he's an ex Jedi. Yeah, he's I mean, Jedi. most of the Inquisitors that are. fight between. I think it's Kanan and Ezra and the Grand, Grand Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Oh my goodness, yeah. so good! I just watched it recently. So yeah. good. I and voiced by an incredible actor, Jason Isaacs. Yeah. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Imagine him playing him in a movie. I did not know that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. but um, and that lightsaber. We. Kn- oh, that's where I was just about to go. I need to see a evil Inquisitor lightsaber at some point. Um, maybe not a helicopter one, like uh sarah michelle keller's character did. actually flying with uh, it. yeah <laughs> which takes off on it i'd be okay if they never show that in live action. yeah me too <laughs> um but yeah I, I we all know at this point i love me the bad guys and i think he is fantastic i'd love to see him off like taking orders from vader type thing like i think it would be cool i think it would be an awesome bad guy to explore so so they have they have a very very interesting dynamic it was explored in a comic book run yeah um part of some comics uh because he the grand inquisitor is essentially his like lead general vader's lead general and but the thing with vader is is that vader run he's in a vader run not okay it's a different vader run Oh, not Um, the main one yeah there's like four or five different different vader Vader runs but um we know vader like even though like you're a lead general and you're in good grasp with vader if you mess up, like he's not afraid to kill you. Oh, and they have those type not, of moments yeah. where it's very you tense. Lose the body part. <laughs> like imagine just seeing that in live action between the like. Essentially, you're focusing on the dark side of a, in a movie. Like that would be brilliant. That'd be really. And brilliant. every, you know, especially dark force user thinks they can take out mm-hmm. anyone, right? Mm-hmm. They think they mm-hmm. can take out the person who's giving them orders. So that would be interesting to yeah. see that. And I would just yeah. love to see him starting off good. And then they'll like turn to evil to to being Vader's right hand. I, people have talked Ugh. about this. If they ever did a Vader series or movie where it's him hunting down the Jedi, hard to root for somebody killing innocent people, but whatever. Especially <laughs> um, younglings. If they ever did that, no. I guarantee you the Inquisitors would have such a huge yeah. role. Yeah. They would. There would be a group of them who are like, we got to take Vader down, and that would be a huge part of the story. Yeah. So I would love to see that. Yeah, yeah. I just think. The popular there is popularity for the Inquisitors, and I would love to see if, it. And- if, if I'm remembering this correctly, there was in in season three or four of Rebels, he was an imper- he was a he was a guard, right? A temple guard. Yes, he was a temple guard. He was a that temple was guard. Turned. Yeah, yeah. Which that that in itself is interesting. We've he's never one the, seen. He's, he's one of the original with the ones yellow lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, that in itself is very interesting because we've never Did seen. They reveal well, that in Rebels. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He, he's, he had a yellow lightsaber. Um, he had that. He had the ray, the dark ray saber. That's what he had. Um, and he took the mask off. You know, Kanan's mask that he wears. Just this piece. He had the full piece, and he revealed itself. And that's when it was like, holy crap! Like the Grand Inquisitor. That in itself, learning about the Temple Guards. That it, like I would love to see that. That's stuff. what I'm saying. That would be a great story to tell, and I. I think people would be down to see something like that. Yeah. A good guy turning bad. It's, and, again, it's different. Yeah, again, it's different. All right, Miss Jacob. You picked it too? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm glad you brought up uh, an Inquisitor because I would I would love to see that. But um, And I have reason to back this up, but uh, my number four is Ahsoka Tano. I, look, mm. the reason being, and I think you have this same thought to a certain extent, I'm worried about her coming into live action because 
it could have a backlash and on multiple because she's fronts. so good in animation yes she's so great in animation she's not a human character so how's that design gonna look is it gonna translate well into live action who's gonna play her Ashley Ashley Larson. That, that would be amazing but they could get the wrong person to play her no actually x i needs to play her they really could actually x i needs to play her and I, I would be all for that because that she is ahsoka tano mm-hmm. and As- there's not every character the voice is so important but with ahsoka it is and trust me if they announced any form of ahsoka in live action i would be so ga- i would be so happy but the reason why she's not number one which she should be is I'm, I'm hesitant about that i think it's fair the character fair. is so cherished and beloved in animation <clears throat> i don't want that to be tarnished by a live action appearance it's totally but fair i freaking love her so much um you've helped me like grow my love for her even more yes. because you know how much you love yes. the character and i'm like wait a minute she is that awesome so i i and she the think about this she is anakin skywalker's apprentice like that is so cool that yeah. is so awesome and she went. She is the only person to go toe to toe with Vader in his prime. The only person. Well, and survive basically. Technically, I mean, yeah. But he, but she well, she legitimately said, went toe to toe. She listen, took off part of his helmet. Yeah, like yeah. freaking, I was showing, dude. Well, you listed the other day. Or, yeah, within thirty minutes, she took on she took on uh, Vader, Palpatine, and someone else. I don't know who. I got. I got. It's oh, on Amazon. It was Mo, oh, Mo. the Inquisitor, within, Vader, and within thirty Palpatine. minutes. Yeah. yeah, within thirty so, minutes. Yeah, and the thing is, it's, who knows Anakin better than Obi Wan and Ahsoka? And yeah. that Obi Wan defeated him, and then Ahsoka maybe Palpatine was plus. When I, like, like honestly, him. like all of this stuff in animation is great with with Ahsoka. But when I think of her in live action, the one thing I think of is her bleeding those lightsabers from her book. You remember that? Yes. When she turned her sabers white, that was amazing. Like her crystals were originally red, and she turned mm-hmm. them white. Like I want to see that on the screen. I want to see a she lightsaber like bleed on screen. Brought them back oh. to the light, but not all the way. And that Ahsoka novel is awesome. Yeah. It's so it's amazing. It's and if you don't know much about Ahsoka, I recommend at least audio booking that Ahsoka novel because totally. it's incredible. And I'm sure we're gonna talk about her more, but yeah. I I would love to see her and. Her number four on my list is no disrespect. Out of all the characters, no way. She's top five, man. Top yeah, five for sure. Um, all right, guys. Well, number four for me is uh, another Rebels alum, Sabine Wren. Mm. Um, and, you know, I guess you guys know how I feel about Mandalorians. Um, I love those Mandalorians. I think that they're so fascinating as far as their culture goes. Um, but Sabrine, Sabine not only has a very checkered past because she was part of the Empire at one point, um, but her mother was part of Death Watch, and she was also gone from Rebels for an extended part of the time because she was on Mandalore. So there's a lot of time that you can tell her story, and it's all vastly different from each other. Um, she was also a wielder of the Dark Saber at one point. Um, she went on to lead Mandalore at one point. There's a gap right before the original trilogy. She goes with Ahsoka Tano at the very end. Like she's so important to this overall story of animation and there's so many different things you can do for her um i would preferably like to see that kind of empire take of her like the beginnings of that um and then obviously i would love to see the mandalore stuff but i think that she is you know because she doesn't have like the jedi stuff or you know she's not connected to any really major characters outside of rebels trained by jedi though she was trained uh, a little bit by jedi i think that she could be um, she could be a really, really cool character in live action, whether it's a TV show or maybe even part of a movie. Maybe even, I mean, we may see her in Mandalorian Part 2. It's a high so, possibility. How yeah. dope would it be to see a Mandalorian suit fly by with her spray paint and, like, design? That's what I'm saying. Like, that, she's so unique and different. Yeah. It only makes sense for her to be shown in live action at some point. Yeah. It, she, she'd be a pretty cool character to see on screen. Not going to lie. She was one of my ones that I uh, was like, oof. And she's she's one. voiced by an incredible actress named I want to say her name is Tia Sakar. Um, she was a, a she was in that uh, Google movie, uh, the Google movie, the internship with Vince Vaughn and um, Owen Wilson. She was one of the the girls on there, but she voices it. She could easily play her, yeah. easily play her. So and you could have Sabine appear without her taking her helmet off. Like even if it's not a big role, yeah. you could I have mean, that yeah. happen. Yeah, all you need is to see her spray painted armor, and you're gonna know who you she is. You have a stunt double do it and have the girl voice her. That would be incredible. Uh, yeah, Sabine. See, for me, it's the opposite of Ahsoka, where Sabine would totally work in live action, yeah. and you're not gonna get that backlash. She's a Agreed. human character, so it's easier to do. So yeah, I would love to see Sabine. Yeah. Good. Good. Number three. Number Man, three. Man, that was like the least conversation about any character. 
Oh, you want to keep talking about no, it's it? Okay, go ahead. I think I think that it's least because we know. I think it's a no-brainer. Like, yeah, that's fair. well that, and yeah. I think I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, and I feel like it's almost kind of like one of the more reasonable ones that you could see. Yeah, because totally. she's a human character. The Mandalorian's going on, and there's a show. Yeah, exactly. There's a show called The Mandalorian. So, right like, now, so. I think it's more she's like she's gonna show up. She's yeah. gonna show up. She's I mean, show up. yeah, you can almost. She literally can almost just Dude, and walk we also into that we know show. her story's not done. Din Jarn versus Sabine Wren will shoot Ooh. out, boss. Yeah. So I mean, I she's one of the ones that when I was going through, I was like, do I want her? Yes. Could I actually see her coming? Probably more than ninety percent. More than most of them. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So um, all right, let's yeah. move on to number three. My number three is arguably my favorite villain, but. <sighs> This character is my favorite lightsaber wielding villain, and that I know is who you're talking about. Asajj Ventress. Oh, what? I, you forgot I, about her? I all right. <laughs> I messed up. If I, Go back. You have time to change it. No, right now. no, no. no. This is what happens. Listerine. <laughs> when Keith forgot movies on, yes, yeah. you can't yeah, change it. Yeah. Listerine. Listerine. Yeah. Asajj Ventress. I would have had her on there though. I love this character. It, she is probably my second favorite villain. Um, she is amazing. Her character ca- character is amazing. The story of how she came about, Dooku's apprentice being cast out, falling in love with a Jedi. Like it's amazing her story dark, dark disciple man it dark disciple one of the best star wars novels one of the my favorite books i could not stop reading it it is a listening fan. to it right now listen no listening to it oh yeah listening to it Sorry. <laughs> i was just being an ass oh i was like what are you talking about <laughs> let uh, us sound smart like we read books yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> fair fair, uh, fair. <laughs> honestly though i think i enjoyed it more listening to it because it has What's well, got the, the emotion? Effects it's and the emotion emotions too, of the yeah. character, um, and the voices are done really well. Mm-hmm. That that one especially. Um, she is a fantastically written character. Her story is arguably one of the best that has been written through Star Wars, in my opinion. Just because no, I agree. I and mean, if you include the novels, and yeah. Too, if you're yeah. going through the novels, if you're going through. The how she came about in Clone Wars, uh, it's I she I would watch movies of just her character arc because it's so good and it's so like almost like real in the sense of like you could see something like this happening to someone where they put all their trust in this person, this person throws the cast them out. They don't think anyone could ever fill that void again until someone comes along. And fills that void but you almost like that i don't want to spoil dark disciples but like how that person fills the void but like they're still you broken people find broken people yeah. and, and her relationship with obi-wan too is yes awesome it's, that little rivalry but like they they like each other not in a romantic well, way they, had, they had a scene where they where they fought together as mold and savage yeah. Yeah, and they flirt a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Obi wan's yeah. a little. He's he's a he's little a player. Flirt. He is. He's, one, he's a little he player, is. man. Yeah. He is. No wonder you wanted to be named after him. <laughs> oh, God, that's so fitting. Um, but yeah, and she has dope light tape. It's a good choice. Yeah, good, really, really so, good choice. Yeah, I love that character. She should be on my list. And to that, Quinlan Vosh is that his name? Quinlan Vosh. Yep. Quinlan yeah. Vosh should be on my list too. I yeah. forgot about both of them, yeah. but uh, him, him, and Dark Disciples is both of them. He, Dark yeah. Disciple. Disciple, one of the best novels, uh, Star Wars novels ever. Yeah. Um, that was okay. supposed. To, that was supposed to be the. So, quick note for you guys who don't know, Dark Disciple is. Wars episodes, it was supposed right? to be. Yeah. The, it was supposed to be the next season of the Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. So, whether or not we see that, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe they make an appearance. That'd in be the, cool in the thing. Yeah. That'd be really uh, cool. So I, this one was I knew I wanted him on here. I didn't know where because I, for me, I it, know. The ki- I don't know if you know. Uh, so the character, for me, when I thought of the character, I was like, okay, where would they fit in a storyline and would it make sense? And and we're probably getting him, and this is Darth Bane. I, Darth, did you, was that what you were thinking? No, I think you're Kanan. I thought Kanan. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, for me, 
like we we got that report about the High Republic, whether it's true or not, and about how Darth Bane established the rule of two. So he barely appears in the animated series, but he does. He's in Clone yeah, Wars. He's in voice. season six with Yoda. He's His in season voice. six of Clone Wars and yeah. Mark, voiced by Mark Hamill. Yeah. And the thing for me is uh, we're going – some one of these movies, whether you know it's three years from now or ten years from now, are going to go back in the past. Yeah. And it's going to go back to either Old Republic or – Somewhere in between, somewhere like 400 to 1,000 years in the past. Um, you know, basically starting from episode one uh, in the past from then. So if you're going to do that, I think Darth Bane has to appear in that time frame somewhere. I mean, he's the creator of the rule of two. Exactly. And I, I would love to see that because we, uh, we've only seen in live action, we've only seen uh, the rule of two, like two Sith at once. I mean, We've seen four Sith in nine movies. Yeah, exactly. Maul, so, Dooku, Vader, and Palpatine. If you tell a Darth Bane story, maybe there's some flashbacks mm-hmm. to when the Sith, when there were thousands of Sith around, and there's a well, flashback. Well, with the time of with his time, there was an army of Sith. Yeah, exactly. That's so why I, he created the rule because there was too many going for the power. I want to see that. And how does he get rid of all of them? Yeah, and there has to be some mass execution type thing that happens. Kind of like Bidu- Order- he betrays the Sith with a Jedi or something. Kind of like Order sixty six or yeah. something like that. I could, I could see a that. Sith purge. Oh, yeah, That'd be dope. something like that. That'd be dope. Uh, I just think Ooh. what he what he means to the historical context of Star Wars, especially when it comes to Sith and Jedi and yeah. the, the whole Force mythology. It's a given, and I, I would love to see him. He's one of the most interesting characters that has yet to be explored. Yeah. Um, he's in novels. He's in legends, obviously. But um, for those of you who don't know Darth Bane, like they said, he created the Rule of Two after realizing that an army of Sith was just um, was just death to their philosophy, essentially. Like, there were too many people who wanted the power, which is what happens in a lot of societies over time, you know? And um, so like Jacob said, that that interesting fact of learning how that happened and why that happened for, you know, what was his thought process like is incredible um, because he essentially led the path for Palpatine and Vader and all these characters that we know and love. Um, so I, I'd 100% be on board with that. That'd be cool. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a very good one. All right, well, my number three, um, I don't know if you guys have him on your list or not. Uh, this is a character that I, I know that technically he was already but he wasn't really wasn't that's captain rex um nice. i would love to see captain i know that Filoni's like I, I yes that was him in return of the jedi i considered but... him too and we, we can't count that we i know that's what i'm saying get rex. that was yeah. made 30 years before the character was invented so exactly you um, can't say just say that's right that was rex no uh, so for me uh <laughs> The story, like, there's not a lot you can do with Rex once we meet him in Rebels. Like, he had, he had his time in the Clone Wars, right? It The only story that you could tell is in between the Clone Wars and Rebels. And we get that line of of him and Wolf and Gregor in that, that uh, episode where we finally meet them about how they took out their chips and they survived. I want to see them on the run. God, that would be I want to awesome. see those guys on the run maybe chase, being chased down by other troopers or, or uh, Imperial Guards or something. Like, them on the run against these guys in their young you know when they're at their youth you know with all these weapons and this this uh this protection like that would be a really really cool story to tell especially in that time because it's it's a it's a galaxy that is full of people and they're not scared of the empire yet so it's a very different type of world and again it fits in that timeline between episode three and four plus i just think that the character of rex is one of the greatest things to come out of the animation stuff um he was so popular in in the Clone Wars. I mean, he was Anakin's general. Uh, all the Jedi had their own their own legion, and he was Anakin's general. And so uh, that that's a big thing. We were talking about how how uh, you know Ahsoka's and against Padawan. I mean, Rex knew him just as good as Ahsoka did, which is really cool. Yeah, and so Ahsoka was his right hand. She, exactly, and so he's way better um, than Commander Cody, who turned on Obi Wan. Right, stupid right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Captain Rex is my number three. Um, I mean, she had to make the list for me, Ahsoka. I mean, but I share the same sentiments that... This is your Jake, number two, right? Number yeah. two. I share the same sentiments of Jacob that my biggest fear is that she's this amazing character, and then you just... It's almost like she's too precious, we don't want to ruin it. Exactly. You know? <laughs> um, in my opinion, if you're not using, using Ashley Eckstein, don't do it at all. I'm at, I'm at that point with, I mean, it's a slap in the face to make her use 
Has she does she act in other stuff like on in live action uh, at all? I'm not sure. She, I mean, she probably like here and the there smaller stuff. stuff. Yeah, but um, it's a slap in the face to into her. I feel like if you use anyone other than her, she's literally Soka. She's been used. Everything Ahsoka does, she deserves to play the character. Um, and if, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I would be on board with it as much if she wasn't the character. Um, Mostly, it's it's for the majority. It's voice, voice, voice work. Yeah, I would still one hundred percent be down for her playing yeah. her. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah, I mean, how could you not? How could she not make? She was in Drake and Josh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, how could you not have a soak on your top five? It's 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 obvious. Um I almost wanted to leave her off just because it was so obvious that she would be on the list, but it's insulting to that character if you don't have her on your list. But um yeah, I mean we already talked and said enough in my opinion that but she no. deserves to be a live action character. We haven't said enough. No, either. okay, fine. Um, I'm sure too. I'm sure it'll come um, up again. Yes, and I'm sure he's not on anyone else's list, um, but my number two is, how do you pronounce his name? Is it Mithranyu Hirojo? Ah, yeah. <laughs> is that it? Uh, Mithranyu Hirojo. <laughs> okay, yeah. Freaking Thrawn, man. I, and same thing for this. I, we don't know how long um, the Chiss, right? Mm -hmm. The Chiss live. We, he can be a lot, around for 600 years, so... You can tell a story about him before he ever met the Emperor mm -hmm. and, and came into uh, well, we the, are. the Raider yeah, yeah. Galaxy. It's a new trilogy. You can yeah, the tell, new trilogy is a prequel. Is it really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. You can tell a story after Rebels. You can tell a story way after Rebels. You can tell a story after The Rise of Skywalker. Who knows if he's still alive or not? So, And Thrawn is such an amazing character. And even though in, the, in Rebels he's portrayed like a kind of like a mustache twirling villain in rebels that's just how he's portrayed. animation he is yeah but in the novels he has so much more depth in the novels he's not evil he's just he's he has a plan he's tough he has an uh a, a, a like a, a large scope plan and he's executing it with every step of the way that he's he's going on his journey so he uh he's a very uh, methodical character i i would love to see thrawn i love the way he talks i i would love to see who they chose to play him it would be very interesting so and thrawn can do a lot of things like is he we've seen thrawn you know get in shootouts before mm -hmm. like he can he can just be the one calling the shots he can go out on and fight too so well, he fights robots and he uh he he's good at hand-to-hand -hand combat well, that's too. what i'm saying he, he yeah. spars with robots with droids in, yeah. in so rebels i would love to see that yeah he uh uh, we we've talked about him at length uh, for years now, but he's he's probably the most unique character canon has ever developed. Um, he's not just a lead general or a leader in the empire. Uh, he doesn't just you know control this vast majority of of that um, you know of the empire. I guess I could just say, um, but he does it in a very different way. He uses it by finding out people's back backstory people's history he looks at their uh their people's art which is like oh, wild to think about yeah, yeah like he that's how he studies people is through their art through their history we saw the episode with Hera where he had a piece from her childhood that she like lost her mind about and so what was that thing called i'm not sure but he he, he finds different ways to get to the bottom of things or to figure people out uh, whether it was that during that time or not, he's always had that with him. And like Jacob said, we don't know how they age. We don't know how people yeah. or thing or, or species age in Star Wars. Um, and that, speaking that of be, having an alien be a main character, exactly, and that would be, be really perfect. really cool. Yeah, really cool. I mean, awesome. he's one of the one of only maybe three characters who are like almost untouchable. Meaning, like during that time when he's in the Empire, like you don't mess with him, like the mm -hmm. Emperor. Like he's safe mm -hmm. when it comes to the emperor. Like oh, yeah. no one else can you mess with books, Thrawn. Like too. he, w Vader can't go just kill Thrawn because mm -hmm. the emperor would be pissed. Yep. And that's only Tarkin, Thrawn, and Vader are on only three who have that stature. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, my number two, 
um, has already been mentioned, um, but it's actually, I guess I cheated it to Duo. Uh, it oh, is just like I did with yeah, uh, it is is freaking that. cheaters. Uh, it makes sense. But there, though, there is Jason. there is a reason for mine yeah. because I only if this was to happen, I only want one story and one story only. It is Osage and Quinlan Boss, oh, and I only want awesome. Dark Disciple. Um, I, the, if this wow. was to ever happen, um, it has to be you Dark Disciple. You kept a pretty straight face when we were talking about that. And yeah. so, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> I can smile now. Um, if it's not the Dark Disciple, I don't think I'd want it because they're so good in animation. I do think that we will see them back both in Clone Wars. Um, and I don't know if they will touch Dark Disciple or not because it's not canon right now. Um, or right. the, the the animation isn't. The oh, book is. The animation is. Like, no, um, and so, uh, but if they ever did live action, I would want a straight up adaptation of the book. That's yeah. what I want. I want a straight up adaptation. I want Quinn Levos and Asajj to be that. as a and series. It, it would, a mini series. Or, or a TV series, yeah. yes. Uh, either one, but I think that um, if I'm confident in them at number two, and but I do have to have them together, and I have to have that story. That's the only way it works for me. Yeah. So, I mean, that's fair. Uh, I, I mean, I, I already profess my love for that. I would character. totally be fine with either of them showing up individually, but I th- I want to see them together first and foremost. I agree. Yeah. No, and, uh, and it doesn't have to be, but I, that would be best. That's the best story, yeah. is those ones being together. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, they're fantastic. Um, yeah. Go ahead, number one. My number one. That's so... So cute that you think no one else would have I was your character. Kidding, oh, I, knew. <laughs> I knew it was gonna uh, My number yeah. one is Thrawn. He is my favorite character. Love him. Everything about his character is my type of bad guy, methodical, conniving, like, but he's going to plan out how he's gonna come after you. He is easily the most, in my opinion, intriguing character because you don't know how he is going to come at you. Like, and he doesn't act unless he knows. He is a bad guy, but he does have good tendencies in the sense of if he doesn't think it's worth coming after you or it doesn't affect him, he's not going to go near you. Like, he's going to, if it's almost like if it, if it's a gain for him and what he needs, he'll do it. But it's not like someone like these bad guys were. I'm gonna go kill the Jedi because they're bad guys. They're the opposite. Thrawn, he's not motivated by money. He's not no. motivated by power either. No, he's he's, he's motivated, just motivated by knowledge. I exactly. think exactly, yeah. and it's unique because I can't think of any other character that's like that in Star Wars. I mean, yes, there are characters that like think things out and stuff like that like like obi-wan doesn't tend to just act he, he thinks stuff out but the way thrawn does it is unique he plans it out he learns through art his backstory i the books not might not be the like greatest books but his books are intriguing and in how he's got this backstory with the chiss ascendancy and stuff like that I would not be surprised if we get some type What's of... What's his uh, little sidekick's name? Eli? Eli Vanto. I love Eli Vanto mm-hmm. in those novels. He is... I mean, I, other than Thrawn, he's like the best part of those novels. I yeah, think. he's an yeah. intriguing character. And I could see the Chiss Ascendancy become <laughs> some type of Star Wars villain stuff. Because, well, like... Think about what they could do in the future. What if, you know, they... 30 years after Rise of Skywalker, the, we don't want to see the Empire, First Order, or anything like that again. What if the Chiss Ascendancy is and it's the an, next it's villain? An, exactly. That's, and that'd be they pretty almost cool. kind of like dug the dirt to plant the and seeds. And that's where you can introduce Thrawn. He, he went back with his people. And exactly. Yeah. And they almost kind of, like I was saying, they almost kind of like dug the dirt to plant the seeds in the books that the Chiss Ascendancy could be a big bad because they kind of are very like. Like, let the Empire do their thing. When they burn out, we're going to be there to take advantage of it. And I I would love to see something like that. It gets away from the Empire type taking over the galaxy, the, the human species. And it's a race of aliens, too, yeah, which would be really It would be cool. awesome to see a race of 
blue faced aliens with red eyes trying to like take out these and i guarantee you it they would be so like hard to defeat that oh, like, absolutely well especially the galaxy all, wouldn't know what if hit they're them. all like thrown then yeah. yeah the galaxy would have no idea what hit them yeah and i mean yeah. plus they have children that are basically force sensitive that see and guide them through certain situations yeah i i just i love everything about thrown that's why my name's grand admiral uh from Thrawn. I love everything about Thrawn. You said that wrong. Grand Admiral Sino. I know, but I'm saying the title. Um, and I mean, he was one of the characters when they went canon. People were like, what's happening to Thrawn? Like, people wanted him, and I don't think it was ever one of those doubts that, like, he was going to They put to out that first way. novel pretty quick, and they, like, confirmed yeah. him canon and everything. Did he appear on Rebels first or the novel? Rebels. Was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rebels, then Thrawn, and so on. So then forth. vice versa. Yeah. So, but the, yeah. Bo the books came out uh, three years in a row. There was no break. They were year that's by year and, by year. Not true, to yeah. mention, he's one of the very few and only characters that have figured out that Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader. And he figured it out on his own. So it, it's interesting. I, I would love to see him in live action. He's also one of those ones to me, if you're not going to do it right, don't touch the character. But same with Ahsoka, in my opinion. Those are pretty much two characters where I'm like, I'd rather not see him if you're not going to do it absolutely perfect. Yeah. Um, all right. So my number one, it, it was kind of difficult, but I, it, when I made the list, um, I, I think knew, I know now. Yeah. I, I don't think, I think you so. know, to be honest. <laughs> I, I honestly, I think I'm going to surprise you guys, to be honest. Um, because there's, there's characters in my honorable mentions that I want to see, but it wouldn't make sense. That's why they're not on the list. And I'll explain that when we get to them. But my number one is Ezra Bridger. Okay. I, I thought it was gonna be love the Ezra character. And to me, like I said before, it has to make sense. So Ezra is, he was, what was he, 16 when he disappeared? If that. Uh, somewhere Thrawn? on there. Yeah. And I was going to say, Thrawn always has a backup plan. But then I was like, not against Ezra. Not <laughs> I mean, Ezra figured out a way to Not beat when him. you throw space whales. Yeah, so Ezra figured out, and it's very rare to beat Thrawn. Like, and yeah. he does always He's have a backup almost plan. unbeatable. Um, so I, the thing for me is Ezra, is, it makes sense to see him somewhere, whether it's, we're probably going to see him in animation again. I, I would love to see him in live action. I, I don't know if the kid who voices him would be a good fit to play him, but the thing with animation is you can get, you can decide who you want to play mm -hmm, him. Yeah. You can cast anyone, but I will say if they ever bring Kanan in, it better be Freddie Prince Jr. But that's yeah. up to Freddie Prince Jr. Because he said... He doesn't really act anymore. Mm -hmm. He wants to stay in LA and everything with his kids, but and his wife. Hey, but, he did come back for the rise of Skywalker. True. He went to a sound booth in, in LA. Hey, but, you still, know, same thing, but still, same thing. but still, no. If they ever do live action Kanan, and I think <clears throat> Freddie Prince can pull it off. You just do his Ghost. hair, Force do his Ghost. Oh, that'd be it. Force Ghost Kanan. If Ezra Ooh. appears in live action. We will see a Force Ghost Kanan. Why I, can't we I, see Force Ghost Kanan in this Rebel sequel series? We totally could. We totally could. But I. For me, there's Ooh, so much. I didn't even think about that. There's so much story to tell with Ezra. He's only 16, yeah. like, and that's why he's my number one. Now, look, Kanan's on the honorable mentions list. Obviously, where do you tell? What story do you tell with Kanan? We we already the whole time we see him is when he's a Jedi. So, if you're going going in the past, he's a Padawan right before Revenge of the, the Sith. Purge. You can't tell anything past. The a lot of our stories are based around the Jedi so, like, Purge. Yeah. Kanan's story is done. Yeah, no, hey, that's so why he wasn't on my list. Ezra's yeah. not. That's, that's why that's, that's why Kanan wasn't so on my list. His story is done. Me. And, his story is complete. And I, I, I love the Kanan character more than all five of these characters on my list. But it doesn't make sense to see him again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ezra makes sense, man. He, he's young. Um, we we saw him develop and grow, and he became one of the most powerful Jedi that was ever portrayed on screen. I mean, he's. For being how young he is, that kid is remarkable yeah. for a force user. He, he can yeah. do things that I mean we, we talked about for the longest time that his path always seemed like, oh, he's gonna turn bad. He's gonna go mm -hmm. bad, he's gonna go bad, like he's gonna well, turn he got on Kanan. By he's, well, I'm just saying he's gonna, he's gonna turn it on. Honestly Kanan. surprised me that he didn't. But that that's what I'm saying. His strength, mm -hmm. he he withstood it, right? He he fought off all of those demons that were coming for him. And and he stayed true to who how he was taught by Kanan, 
And so um, Darth Maul almost got him though. Maul almost got him. Palpatine, Palpatine almost, almost got him. him. Like he fought off some of the the most wisest and most evil characters to ever hit Star Wars, which is very cool. Anthro. Um and he would just be he would just be uh a look wise incredible to look at on screen. Like with that saber, his outfit. God, I would like, want to see the saber. All of that would be no, God no, Love no. Um, but yeah, so I, I, that's that's a, it's a good number one. It's a good number one, but it's not better than my number one. And you guys are wrong. There is, you do Ahsoka Tano, no matter what, in every damn Star Wars thing that pops up, she is live action, one hundred percent. You guys are wrong, wrong. You do Ahsoka Tano, she is the number one character to be cut into live action. You have to bring her into live action. No matter what, she must go into live action. <laughs> Period. Trust me. Period. I I won't be as excited as you because I think that's impossible. But I would lose my s if if they announced. I told. I think I might. Have, I don't know when I said this, but her. I I said don't be surprised she shows up in Mandalorian season two. Yes, or Obi Wan. Yeah. I, I've always said when they were gonna do Obi Wan movie, I thought it made sense for her to show up. Because they have an established relationship, it makes sense. I said it. Obi Wan is just as much her master as Anakin is. Yeah, they they were they ma- they were masters together. They really were. And and that makes sense because it was weird. Like Anakin was still Obi Wan's apprentice, but yeah. he had an apprentice. Yeah. yeah, is that even allowed? It's allowed once. He was yeah. on the council without being a, a master. Yeah. So yeah. it was like a. It was like Obi Wan's her grandfather, they really and screwed her, or like Obi Wan's her big brother, and uh-huh. Obi Wan's her uh-huh. father. But I, I under, I, I agree with you, and I think, I think Ahsoka's like a mixture of Obi Wan and Anakin. The wise, absolutely, the wise tempered part of her is Obi Wan, but the feisty like the fighter in her is yeah. Anakin, and the snip. It's like they raised her basically, yeah, which is awesome. And I, can you? I feel like like I would. Cry if we saw Obi Wan and her interacting. Oh my god, are you with kidding? With Ewan me? McGregor interacting with Ahsoka on screen, like with Ashley Eckstein, X- X- that would be it. Even if it's just like I don't know a cameo in Obi Wan, that would be. What if, it's a for- what if it's a force call? Like not not physically, mm-hmm. but just, force just, just no 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 no, just literally calling each other through the yeah. force, not actually seeing each other, but calling each other. Because it does happen. We saw Yoda yeah. do it. We saw Obi Wan do it. That I need to be in the same room as you <laughs> the second happens, anything yeah. Ahsoka live action anything because yeah <laughs> you'll explode she's she's a top three star wars character for me yeah top three all time out of all of them she's top three is she number three i don't know who's I, your number one my number one is well, who are the other two uh han solo um it's it's kind of a tie between four it's han solo obi-wan ahsoka and bubba fett Oh, okay. Bubba Fett's on the towards the end because we haven't seen much of him. Yeah. But if that if he's in season two of Mandalorian, we're gonna see more of him. So he might jump up there pretty much. Man, so. if Qui Gon was in at least three movies, I mean he would be Qui Gon's top five. He would be up we there we only me. saw him once. That's yeah, why. Exactly. That's that's but the bad thing. Once but he's gonna he be an Obi Wan an impact. Yeah. That's he's gonna, gonna be an Obi Wan. So the second Qui Gon shows up, just Obi Wan. As the force goes, I'm gonna lose my crap. I'm gonna lo- I mean, I'm named after him. I'm gonna lose my crap. We're gonna hear that voice first. And yep, hundred percent. Liam Neeson, that scruffy voice. Yeah, I hope he says good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, so good. Um, all right, Brian. Why don't you run through your list real quick, man? Five through one. Before we get out of here, my five through one. <laughs> number five was Hera. Number four was the Grand Inquisitor. Number three was Asajj Ventress. Number two being Ahsoka, and number one. Great dad from all throng. Um, you got any honorable mentions while we're at it? Anybody? Yeah, the whole entire cast of Rebels. Just name, just name two or three of them. Uh, the whole entire cast of Rebels. Okay, Jacob, go on. But who was, who almost yeah, got like, that Yeah, who was your spot? sixth spot? That's where we're at. Um, I really wanted to see Hondo. Mm-hmm. I had him close just because <laughs> I, just, I think all three of us did by our smirks. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, he, I only have three names on my honorable mention. So he's on, he's on my three names. Just yeah, that yeah, yeah, voice. Yeah. Like, if I heard that voice, I would probably and just start laughing. He makes so much sense. He can appear anywhere. Oh, exactly. Anywhere. Any Again, movie, we don't know how he ages. He, he's he one movie, of those characters that you show. Just, he yeah. just, yeah. He's if just I like, ever hear that voice, if I ever hear that voice, yeah. I'm jumping up yeah. and running through somewhere. It's, <laughs> he's just, I mean, he's just one of those characters that you're just like, how is he there? And it would, you would just accept no matter where he showed mm-hmm. up, just because he's so ridiculous that he shows up anywhere, mm-hmm. and you just laugh and accept that he's there. So, I, probably Hondo. He was one of the ones that I was just like. 
I'm really going to leave him off the list. Quinlan Voss was another one just because of Asajj Ventress, because I'm not a cheater like you two. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I actually really kind of wanted to see uh, Agent Callus for some reason. Oh, that would be cool. I, I don't know why. I always Maybe it was just that sweet set of chops he had. <laughs> um, you know who he was played by, right? Um, he is played by David Oyelowo. Yeah. You don't know that name, do you? No, no, no. Okay, Jacob, go on. What's your what's your <laughs> yeah. list? Or right, list and then honorable mentions. Um, so my list, uh, starting with five, was was Hera with her son Jason Sandula, Kanan's son. Uh, number four is Ahsoka. Number three, Darth Bane. Number two, Thrawn. Number one, Ezra. Um, my three honorable mentions I listed were Hondo, Kanan, and Sabine. So basically, you know, we I, of course I would love to have Kanan on there, but we talked about it. It's just. It wouldn't make sense because if you tell something before, he's not a Jedi yet, and he's hiding or something. Afterwards, he's not around. So, yeah, but that's my list. Let's uh, go ahead. Oh, you didn't no, see no, okay. no. Uh, Number five for me is Cad Bane. Four, Sabine Wren. Three, Captain Rex. Two, Asajj and Quinlan, Fa- Quinlan Voss. And number one, Ahsoka Tano. And my honorable mentions, um, I had bo who I think is probably I about the, her who too. Is, yeah. I think yeah. she's the highest candidate to show up in season two of Mandalorian. Um, I also have Hondo. I have Hera, and then I have a little bit of a wild card. Um, I have Bendu from uh, Star Wars Rebels, the giant monster, the Force monster that oh, came really? in. Really, I have Bendu on there. Mm-hmm. Um, he seems like a very, very interesting and intriguing character. How he kind of connects with the Force and where he's from, and- how long he's been there. And he's kind of like good bad. He, well, he's like a gray. He's like a gray Jedi yeah, almost in because... a way. He's like the one portray of a gray Jedi in, in Star Wars so far. Yeah. Uh, I did have one other one that I was going to throw out. Um, I would like to see uh, Savage Opress. Yeah. But you, I, I thought about me, him too. For me, I wouldn't want to see Sa- Savage without... Um, Dark Maul. No, it's... Uh, oh my God, what's oh, her name? The, 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 nice, the mother. The mother. Mother, yeah. it's, mother Talzin. Mother yeah. Talzin. I wouldn't I want to see him without... I want to see that. Like She oh, almost made my dad see that. at its height when, yeah. when they're with, still alive with all, the, with all the women and yeah. then how they do the, the men sisters. thing too. And like, dude, that would be sweet. I, That'd be sweet. I, she almost made my list just for the fact of I would want to see Dothamir. Yeah. That, no, the, Dothamir, I want to see a Dothamir story for sure. Yeah, that's literally... Uh, I asked you... Um, if we can include video game characters, because I love, um, crap, I'm forgetting her name, and it starts with an M, the character from Fallen Jedi, or Fallen Order. The Inquisitor? No, 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 no. The, um, uh, the, the, one, the, the one on the ship, the woman. The Night Sister. Oh, the, oh, I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, sorry. Thanks for ruining the game. Well, no, I didn't really it. She, she just shows up. She, when you go to Dothmere, she's one, one yeah, of the last. Yeah, I haven't gotten that far, so, you, so thank you. Oh, it's well, on the map. So you can kind of you can go to Dathomir whenever you want. I I yeah. got to that part. Yeah, but she does show up a brief second. Yeah, she's you'll I you a lot of people really like that character. So cool. Mirren, I think is her name. I think that's her All name. right, well there it is, guys. Our five characters that we want to see jump from animation to live action. Make sure you guys let us know down below in the comments what characters you want to see. Are they similar to our list? Is it our list? Um, shoot them down there. We'd love to hear from you guys. Who on has this the one. best list? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Vote yeah. on who has the best list um, out of this group because obviously Magic. Ahsoka should be number one. No. Um, these fake people over here. Who's your number um, one? Ezra. Yeah, so we all have different it's number ones. And, and the only the only <laughs> same number was between you two with Hera number five, which is really cool. So um, We had very right. different ones, too. We all had very different lists. Uh, so that is Grand Admiral Zeno. That is Obi-Wan Jacoby. I am Qui-Gon Jake. This is Padawan Podcast for Apocalypse Movies. You, can, you guys can find us on all audio podcast platforms, YouTube. Just search Apocalypse Movies. Find us on social media as well. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us, and may the Force be with you. Hey, everyone. Jacob Bartley here. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out something similar from Apocalypse Movies, click this video up here. You want something a little bit different? Check out this video down here. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to Apocalypse Movies and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. We always love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.